Hello, Michelle Gray here, and today we're going to talk about the business plan one, the first part of the business plan. This is the place where you get to introduce yourself. Who are you? What's your background? What's your philosophy? And how about your business? What is your business? What's your mission? What's your vision? What are your priorities, purpose, goals? So this is the beginning of your business plan, the place where you get to introduce yourself. So we're going to take a look at the actual business plan and see here what this assignment is all about. In this assignment, you want to begin by telling us about you through your cover page. You need to pick a logo, pick a business name, and pick a, a piece of your business name that's a tagline just to get a flavor of you. Be creative, draw about it, write about it, go for a walk in the woods about it, you know, bring it to your yoga mat or walk the labyrinth, journal. See, see if you can capture something that's fun and expressive and add some clarity to your business that reflects who and what you are. Give it a, your name, the business address, and you'll start a table of content. Be sure that the one, three, one and three on your table of context matches the actual page numbers of your business plan. The rest of this will be uh, for business plan part two and three. So in the owner's statement, which is the first part, you wanna list yourself again, and you want to begin by offering a summary of your experience and your philosophy. So who are you? We will work on this section in class one. So you'll have a start. You'll have some language as to who you are. The second part, the executive summary, we're going to go ahead and leave for the very last part of the business plan that you will do. This will be a little recap of each of your sections. And there is an example here. So just write executive summary and leave it as a placeholder for this assignment. The third section is a description of your, of your business. And in this section, you want to <clears throat> write a brief history including your mission and vision statements. You want to describe what services you'll be offering, the physical location, and again, if you don't have one, just make one up, and any equipment that you'll use, and any unique features that distinguish your practice from others. Credentials, location, being bilingual, um, any financial standings, and if you'd like to include an advisory board, please do. It's kind of fun to think about who in your world you'd like to have on your advisory board. It could be someone you actually know, or it could be somebody that you admire that's in this field that you might want to include. Uh, kind of like a fantasy football or basketball team that you can have your fantasy advisory board. The vision and mission, again, we'll work on a bit in our first class, but remember, the vision is really your overarching big picture. You want to convey a sense of what you envision in, in the world at large for your clients, for your business. It's powerful and wise, for instance, might be uh, the example given here. And please take a look at the multiple examples we give you in some of the links to previous students' mission and vision. The mission itself is more the details. How are you gonna carry this out? How will you manifest this? How do you plan to do it? And keep it simple. It should be no more than a couple, maybe three sentences. One is perfectly fine as well. Some people do use bullet points for this. There's a couple examples here. The third section of this business plan part one is your purpose, priorities, and goals. And this part will be graded in particular on having the correct number in each section. So you wanna have the first section that states your overarching career plan, your goal, and then three priorities as a minimum. What are the priorities in, in attaining that overarching goal for you and your business? 
the long range purpose of your goal is the second one and that's a three to five years where do you see yourself in three to five years in this section you need a minimum of three priorities as well as two goals under each priority so tell us specifically a goal that will help to reach that priority then the third section in this one is your short-term goals. What about in the next two years? So one of your priorities, most likely, if you want it to be, could be that you want to finish your schooling that you're doing at the University of Minnesota. And that might be a priority. And then three goals underneath that might be X, Y, and Z. Again, if you want to write your business plan for you personally and you want to imagine starting a consulting business, go right ahead. If it's you being a member of a department in your organization and you're going to bring these coaching skills to that department, go right ahead and do that. Maybe you are already a healthcare provider and want to simply add more depth to your skills as a nurse manager or doula or chiropractor or uh, educator. So feel free to make this business plan your very own in whatever way you do in the world intend to create uh, uh, an opportunity for health coaching to be provided to your clients and your patients. So as a reminder on the grading rubric, you want to know that the beginning, there'll be a grade, one point for a title page and one point for the table of contents to be updated in the sections for this section. The owner statement, you're going to again leave that executive summary as a placeholder, but you want to include your experience and philosophy, description of your vision, including a mission and vision and a possible naming of an advisory board. That will be worth the six points. And then your purpose, priorities, and goals includes uh, six more points. And you wanna include possible re referral sources and a collaborative network. Don't forget self-care in your purpose, priorities, and goals as well. All right, so that's an overview of this section of, per, of uh, business plan one. And I hope you find the review, a little checklist, give you some comfort that you've got all the points that you need to make. And I look forward to reading them along with Teresa. Thank you.